What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to get my favorite players. We have LPL and LCK for League of Legends. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get into these plays, y'all. We got first game where we have Up versus LGD, in which we're looking at a favor for Up with 385 favor. Could be a 2 1 win for them. Going to the next game, we do have Sandbox versus. KDF, they're formerly known as Africa Freaks, LSB. They are the upset, in my opinion, in this play. They are third highest in kill death ratio. They have Dragon Control, third in Baron Control. Looking to the next game, have RNG going against anyone's legend. High favor for RNG at a negative 650. They do have the highest and kill death ratio with Dragon Control, also first blood percentage. Going to the next game, we have KT Roaster versus NS Red Force. Should be a good matchup. KT does have the second highest and kill death ratio, second highest in Dragon Control, and Jungler Control, and Baron Control. This could be a matchup where they can actually win this 2 1, but I wouldn't be surprised if NS wins this 2 1. Let's go to our last play. We do have TT Gaming going against WBG which this is a landslide matchup be easy 2-0 sweep in my opinion in this matchup tt is one of the worst teams for lpl let's get into these plays going to my top lane do like the shy here 2.6 kda 58.7 kill participation percentage with 30.4 damage share that is the highest for the top laner average a nine creep score per minute we're going against new he has a 1.3 kda 49.2 kill participation he's low value the Shy is one of those guys. He loves to roam around. He's deadly. So, like the Shy here at 6,800, I think it's a great play for him. Another play you also consider for value is Dove. Hopefully, he's confirmed in this line for today. He has a 4.2 KDA. He did play four games already, averaging a 62.5% kill participation with a 27% kill share. Compared to Ken, who's averaging a 1.5 KDA, he's also low volume. Definitely think Dove is a GPP flyer at 5,800. Going to our jungler position, we do like so FM. Easy matchup going against Frigid. Frigid is averaging a 1.1 KDA, 25.6 death rate, with 57.1 kill participation, just low volume. And so FM should be an easy play at 7,200. Another play I do want to consider, Croco, 3.4 KDA, 77.5 kill participation. Compared to Elim, who's averaging a 0.8 KDA, that is garbage. He has the 30.2% death rate. That is the worst for a jungler. So I think Croco should dominate easily in this jungler position for today. I'm going to our next play, mid spot, Angel at 7,600. He should be easy, a great play, 9.3 KDA, with 58.7 kill participation, 22% kill share with an eight creep score per minute. 21.9 damage share with a 6.8 death ratio. That's pretty good for a mid laner. Angel's in a great spot compared to Captain, who is just garbage. 1.7 KDA with a 16% death ratio. Angel, to me, is an easy spot to consider for your lines at the mid laner. Another play you can also look at is Closer. Average of 4.5 KDA with 67.5 kill participation. He has a 35% kill share as the highest in the mid lane position with a 15.8% death rate. He has a 9.2 creep score per minute with the 29.6 damage share, which is also a great play. Compared to Fate, he is averaging a 1.3 KDA, 17.5 death rate, with 63.6 kill participation. So closure to me is another great play to consider for cheap. We go to our next play, going to our bot lane. I feel like you just gotta pay up for one thing. He should dominate the spot easily going against Puff. He has a 4.9 KDA, 10.1 creep score per minute with a 25.8 damage share, 61.9 kill participation percentage, 38.1 kill share with 13.6 death rate, which is very low for a bot lane. Love this play for one thing, even as a captain play. Another play you also look at for a bot lane for a nice one-off will be Elk. Great spot. Even when they lose games, he still has one of the highest fancy points for a bot laner. Averaging 3 KDA, 29.2 damage share, 74.4 kill participation, which is the highest in the position. Even a 42% kill share, which is the highest in the position. Elk is a great one-off for AD carry. 
Another player you want to also look at is Aiming. He's one of the best players on the team. 7.3 KDA, 65.4 kill participation percentage, 33.3% kill share, with a 30% damage share, which is one of the highest for a bot laner. He is averaging a 12.9 death rate, which is also lowest as well. So I'd like to play for aiming if you want to be different for the bot lane. But I love Elk here. If you want to put one thing as captain. And then we go to support. Of course, you got Ming if you want to pair him up with Gala. Most expensive play, but you have enough money to fit him in there. Ming is a good spot. You got On, also in a great play, where she's averaging 2.5 KDA with a 76.2 kill participation. Only an 8.2 damage share, which is the highest support position. You definitely pair him up with Wan Fing. You also got Peter, who has been doing well in the last five games. He's averaging a 16.7 KDA, 73.5 kill participation with an 8.8 .8 death ratio. He's actually doing pretty good as a support player. He's definitely been helping him out in the last two games to give him an edge in this matchup against KT. It's either will be him or effort. We don't know the confirmed lines. But if he does play, love this spot for Peter. Now you're going to look for team. You could put closer at mid lane. That actually could help you out with some savings on that support. Now for team, you could put a sandbox. I think sandbox will be a, a 2-0 sweep, in my opinion. So these are my plays for today, y'all. Like the plays. Definitely give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.